Okay, so uh, I'm going to go over the new changes to ACTF. Uh, there are still some standing bugs uh, <laughs> that go off the good old like uh, applying 9,999 damage thing uh, is still currently a problem, although I haven't quite had a chance to see if maybe there's a way around that bug. Uh, just yet. However, there is a lot of new updates and changes based on feedback from the last playtest. Uh, now, like, when you buy something, so I have exactly a thousand credits right now. See how all the stuff that I can't afford Red now... Has advantage. All the stuff that I can't afford right now actually uh, grays out. And then if I sell my Enforcer, now I can afford one of these, and then I can sell... Go. Now... Completely broke. But, alright. Uh, I buffed. I gave the, uh, the, the striker a huge buff. And, uh, let's see. I can go over the, the Red list. Team has advantage. Man, that is annoying. And it's really loud. Probably not as loud in the video. Is it really loud in the video? Fuck. Okay, so... What do we have here? We have, uh, I, uh, well, I had to take out the, uh, rocks and stuff like that for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of the reasons being that the rocks were responsible for the, uh, most of the file size. So now that I've taken the rocks out, uh, you don't actually have to download the pack file separately. You can just try to jump on the server and it'll automatically, the redirect will automatically work and everything is happy on that front like you can automatically just get the pack file you don't even have to worry about anything um the lighting ended up changing a lot as a result of getting rid of the skybox i don't think any of that is really gonna hurt the gameplay on this map at all it was all just visuals and at this point in time really should be more of the focus uh i think there's a decent amount of attention to the to the mod uh, right now, what I really think the mod needs is some another map. 
So, uh, going over all this goodness here, um, grade out the stuff that you can't afford anymore. Um, I made it so that the text on the middle of the screen, whenever you gain or lose credits, uh, is a little bit brighter so you can see it a little better. I buffed the striker. I hope to. You know, uh, I, I, I hope that I can get people like, damn that fucking gun. I want people to be mad the gun even exists. I want them, just like the AWP in Counter-Strike many years ago, where people would complain about how OP it is. You know, it's kind of weird. You don't really hear those complaints anymore. But back in the day, man, I mean, like, way, way back in the day, like the 90s, Fucking eight OBP is a piece of shit gun. Like people hated that gun. I think I even remember kind of complaining about it. Well, anyway, that's kind of where I I want to get the the striker to be a, at about that rant level of fuck that gun. It's ruining the game, man. So if I can just get that, I made the projectiles much faster. Um, and I increased the ammo capacity, your ammo limit. So there's a little bit more going on here. I haven't really quite talked about. Do you see this upgrade section? There's a whole bunch of buttons here. Well, alright. I have a choice. Red and, team has advantage. Oh the fucking red team has advantage. Um the choice is that I have the ability to work on Battle Royale. I have I guess at this point, uh, you probably might know that the open world survival stuff has just got to be on hold because I can't save your progress and there's no nav mesh stuff, which would end up being a really giant project anyway. And maybe, it... but uh, battle royale is just like you know, last man standing with a big map. Uh, I don't know. Arena CTF is already in really good shape. Maybe maybe the best thing for me to do would be to focus on new maps for this and uh, explore this upgrades thing. So these upgrades, the class upgrades, so like you can actually purchase things that actually change like your character or maybe they can be like buffs. But once you have the idea is that once you once you buy one of these things you get a buff that lasts that entire half. So until until halftime, you have a permanent upgrade. And these upgrades can actually level up. Like you, maybe there's two or three uh, layers of of upgrades that you can get. Uh, and I'm not sure what the hell they're gonna be. I'm not even sure if it's a good idea or not because it can really, really influence the dynamics of the game. But, like, I'm thinking, like, ammo regen, health regen. Like, level one could be just like a, a weak ammo regen just for yourself. And level two could be like an AoE around you. So your teammates actually get ammo regen, but it's weaker. And then level three is like. Scores. <laughs> is like a. Um, is like full powered ammo regen for people that are around you but it's like super expensive and it'd be like health regen ammo Red regen team has advantage and um and like maybe uh you can make everything cheaper to buy uh, and i i don't know i mean or or this could be like you purchase a little thing that you place on the ground that's a little fucking engineer thing and that gives ammo regen. So I place a fucking turret thingy on the ground that gives ammo regen. Five minute warning. And anyone can just buy one and place them. And they're like consumables. They only last that round or something. I don't know. So I'd like to hear some thoughts on that. It's pretty crazy. Wild. It's, it would really have a big dynamic. Um... I bought a rocket launcher just because I needed to. Just felt felt right. Felt good. Hold on. Look at all that gray text. That's functionality right there. Oh, I got 200 bucks. No. All right. 
So, okay, so with all that, um, I don't know. I feel torn. The Battle Royale thing uh, is just going to be a, a cycle where I go back and forth thinking about what I want to do. At least with Arena Capture the Flag, it's functioning. Uh, the new version did not break it. Yes. And uh, make some new maps for it. And I was thinking of uh, of doing a version of Face. You know, two towers in outer space spinning around in front of the planet. Well, I guess everybody knows what Face is if they've done anything with Unreal Tournament. But a version of that could totally be done uh, with Arena CTF. Red team scores. So, yeah. Hmm. Red, red team has advantage. advantage. And sometimes red team has advantage twice. I don't know. Like, uh, maybe taking an existing map. And then and turning that into an arena CTF, I could actually probably make two or three decent shells um, on top of this one, and have it work out. Remain. Maybe focus all my energy on arena CTF, or maybe battle royale would be a better thing. I don't know. For some reason, though, I do I do really like the idea of doing a uh, open world survival type thing. But if it's going to be a pain in the ass and I don't have access to any ways to uh, save progress of players on the server and stuff like that, maybe it's just not a good idea. So, I don't know. I can't make up my mind. So with that said, this mod has progressed uh, pretty significantly since the last build. Uh, the only things that are left really are annoying little bugs and like strange shit like the fact that red team has advantage voice comes up twice when it's clearly only being said once and there's only one player currently on the server I fucking get it but other than that this is in really good shape and really maybe maybe some new maps and and, and and just like focusing more more energy on this would probably be better than doing a battle royale. I don't know, man. It's tough. Tough. Hmm. All right. So uh, that was the uh, mental brain dump uh, on that front. Uh, hope you found it informative and stay tuned Red for more. Red team scores. Red team scores. Wait, wait, I gotta buy something. Wait. Okay, wait. Sell the enforcer. I always sell my enforcer and I always Red Team has advantage. It like screws me over every single fucking time. Wait, wait, so if I sell these get Ripper. Yeah, there's the bug there where the ripper is hard to is still hard to select. I gotta figure out how to fix that. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> I'm a bit delirious because I'm tired. Okay, so uh, that's that, and uh, stay tuned for more.